Colloids are mixtures of two or more compounds found in different states. That means that they are non-homogeneous solutions. Recall that a homogeneous solution is a solution in which the compounds that compose the mixture are in the same state. Well, colloids are composed of compounds in different state. Now, they also contain larger solid particles. For example, blood, which is a colloid, is composed mostly of water and hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the larger particle, the solute, while water is the solvent. Okay? Now, the larger particles are also called colloidal particles. So hemoglobin is the colloidal particle. Now other examples of colloids exist. Fog. Fog is composed of liquid particles found in the gas state. Smoke is composed of solid particles or carbon found in the gas state. Whipped cream is composed of gas particles found in the liquid state. And paint is composed of solid particles found in the liquid state. Now, colloid systems also experience something called the Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect is the scattering of light due to the presence of large particles. Now, if you look at this system here, pretend that this is a cup and inside is a colloidal system. Okay? And these are the colloidal particles or the large particles. Now, when light will enter, it's going to bounce back and forth between these particles and it's going to lose energy. Eventually, when it comes out, it's going to come out with less energy. Because remember, light carries energy. Light is composed of photons. That means that the system, the colloidal system, will be translucent. So you won't be able to see it through it very clearly. The solvent portion of the colloid is called a continuous phase. The solid portion of the colloid is called dispersed phase. Now when water is the solvent, classification occurs in two ways. Lyophilic colloids are those colloids that have strong attractions between continuous and dispersed phases. Examples include protein and water, which is found in blood. Protein is the dispersed phase water is the continuous phase and they mix very well. Lyophobic colloids are those colloids that lack attraction between continuous and dispersed phases. And examples include fat and water mixtures. We know that fat, the dispersed phase, and water, continuous phase, don't mix very well. Now, there are two ways to fil uh, filter colloids. The first way is by heating and then filtration. If you heat a colloid, this will cause the solute to coagulate. And then you can filter it by simple filtration. The second way is via dialysis. Dialysis is the separation using a semi-permeable membrane. For example, you have a semi-permeable membrane here, red blood cells mixed with water. The red blood cells are the dispersed phase. The water is the continuous phase. Water will flow easily from one side to the next. The red blood cells are too big to pass, so they will be left behind on this side.